Hi everybody, I'm Tara from Crook and Row, and today we have, well actually a couple days before today, <laughs> we have planted 37 apple, pear, peach, cherry and plum trees and so today uh, most people don't understand that when you get a tree from a nursery or a um, <clears throat> an online catalog or whoever you get your your fruit trees from you actually need to prune them as soon as you get them and so <clears throat> this is how I do it I actually learned this my cousin introduced me to urban farmstead he has his own channel he has a wonderful display of what to do with young fruit trees um, I would highly suggest looking him up he is um, super smart but he actually takes you through like planting them through like the first three years um, and he does a spring prune and a summer prune which is kind of different because a lot of people say to only prune them once a year when they're dormant but he prunes them twice so we're actually going to use that method this year um, and we have planted ourselves an orchard and so we um, <sighs> we will keep adding to it you don't you don't essentially we have started an orchard that's probably a better way to say it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and with my plum my cherry and my peach trees um, those are stone fruits so we like to prune those with a vase shape um, where the central stem is cut and you have like three to five main branches on each one um, that really you know helps it I think helps it grow um, and then um, but you can actually prune any way you want to however you want the trees to look I've seen people who do central leaders on all trees they do a vase shape on all trees um, on our pear and our our apples we like to do um, a central leader but kind of keep it uh, short the whole idea for us and pruning is because we actually have 12 around 12 standard size trees that are out on our property and it is extremely hard to prune those and it is extremely hard to get the fruit it's just one tree takes about an entire day and uh, when you are running a homestead that's a long time so we we like to now that we're planting in kind of one area it's back behind our garden um, since we're planting in one area all of our fruit trees we're trying to keep them you know sh on the short side so that it's not so hard to prune and it's not so hard to do these things so anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna go through and prune those and and I, I'll show you how I we prune the to the central leader and also into the vase shape but show kind of how small you get these trees down but it's going to create side growth which is what we want because I think that people think that you need tall growth and you you want that eventually but really you want to go wide first you want to do your lateral growth first and then you want to have your um, you know it shoot up you can keep your tree as tall or as short as you want it to be which is a really great thing so it's extremely versatile and so um, I we're gonna try to keep ours probably under 10 feet um, just enough where we can pick the fruit or prune it on a small ladder I don't as as we age um, we don't want to have to be climbing up ladders and hanging off to oh to kind of prune something <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you in a minute today I'm gonna use my Felco's um, I also use a brand called um, Corona um, both of these are very good pruners um, these fit my hand just a little bit better because I have short stubby fingers um, I have a paper towel with um, alcohol on it and I just I've already sharpened these and I'm just going to clean these between every single tree so as you can see this plum tree is just like a single stem all the way down or branch or however you want to say it that's what they call a whip and so this will be incredibly easy to prune um, we have one 
two, three. We have four plum trees to prune. Okay, so I am standing next to this whip and I'm just going to prune it like, like right where my hip is. And I'm just gonna clip that right off. It's that simple. That's just for a whip. Since most of these are whips, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll move on to the peach trees. But I am cleaning these after every tree. So on this tree, this actually does have some side growth. It's kind of spindly. Um, so this appears to be the central leader. So I'm going to actually go ahead and prune this out. And then these are so flimsy. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and prune back about half of everything that's here and we'll kind of see how this is gonna go. Um, and for the summer pruning that we will do later, um, we'll go ahead and see, I'm actually gonna turn that back a little more. I feel like this one, is really trying to become the central leader and I might have to prune this one out. Um, but we can take care of that in summer pruning. This one is another whip. So here is my hip and there we go. Done, the plums are done till summer. Okay, so this is our first peach tree. And as you can see, it definitely has lateral growth. So what you wanna do is look for great lateral growth that is at about a 45 degree angle. This branch right here is at a 45 degree angle. Uh, this branch is a good one at a 45 degree angle. Um, these up here are kind of steep and I kind of want to bring them down anyway because I want them to kind of all grow at the same speed. This is definitely not. That'll come out. And the one back here, I don't think you can see it, is definitely not. Um, but I might go ahead and leave that one in back. That is low, um, but these trees will grow and we'll kind of go from there. When you look at the buds, you can actually, like, there isn't a whole lot of action going on over here. So to make the apial dominance over here, I'm gonna cut the tree, and this bud should grow pretty good over here because there are no branches over here. Um, and then I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna keep these, mm, I think I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna keep these three, and then I'm gonna head back and all the branches. I don't want to keep the Y shape. I typically want a Y shape, but I don't want to keep this Y shape because it's just too young. So I'm gonna cut it back to where I actually want it to produce, which is gonna cause a shoot to come out this way. And that's exactly what we want. On this one, I also do not want this to produce this year. And I'm gonna cut it back to right there. Okay, well, I'm, I might leave this little tiny one. I might come back, I don't know. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that one. I don't like the way it looks. Okay, so we definitely have three good ones. There's a tiny one back here. Um, I feel like I'm gonna prune that too. Okay, three good branches, one, two, three. And hopefully this one will produce the, the limb that I am actually looking for. But this peach tree is done till summer. So this is a really great tree to showcase because it's like all the growth is over on this side. You have a couple, couple of flimsy things over here, but the main growth is over here. And so that is not what we want. We do not want a lopsided tree whatsoever. So we are gonna have to create growth on this tree. We definitely want growth over here. Um, this is so thin, um, but to encourage this, we're gonna go ahead and clip this down. I'm gonna do it here, but we are also, there is a good 
bud right there there's see there's even more buds on this side oh um i wish hmm. decisions decisions i'm gonna go ahead and clip that off um and hopefully this will start to grow there's not a whole lot happening on this side um so but hopefully we will get branching done and i'm gonna head each of these off uh i think this these are over top of each other so this is going to be a problem i'm going to cut this one out and just for leaf growth i'm going to keep this one for right now but i'm going to prune it back to an outward facing bud this way and hopefully that shoot will come this way out to here and this one to uh, there's not a lot of buds over here on this side I can only imagine what was happening in that nursery so I'm gonna keep it like that till summer pruning so most of my apples are just a single I keep calling them stems but they're not stems um, they're just a single branch they don't really have any lateral branching on them some of them do but they're extremely spindly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the all the whips down to about hip height and allow them to have lateral growth this year I just kind of wanted to explain that really quickly uh, before we started apples the peaches are done so are the plums Woohoo! Okay, well there you have it. I went ahead and I pruned all, I believe that was 37 trees. When they're new, it's super fast. So I think that took all of an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, and just remember that pruning stimulates growth. So you're really gonna wanna prune even your brand new fruit trees. And it can kind of be painful because you see like that there's already all this growth on it. And so you kind of don't wanna touch them and you wanna see them grow. But if you prune them, it will actually create more growth than you thought could happen so in the summer when I summer prune I'll show you another video and I'll show you like side by side how different they look and and they do it's amazing so if you have any questions please put it in the um, comments below and remember if we can prune our new fruit trees anybody can thanks bye